All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching The Angel Next Door Spoils Me Rotten, Episode 5. I've got nothing much to say for the start of this episode, but I'm very much looking forward to it once again. Last episode was very, very wholesome, and uh, I'm just loving it so far. So, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's get into this episode right now. Are they spending the new year together? Oh, that's cute. Y'all spent Christmas together? May as well chime in the New Year together. They're still so formal with each other. Like, you didn't just throw her into your bed in the last episode. <laughs> oh, is this his friend? <laughs> Shove it. Five minutes into the New Year. Yeah, everybody's just trying to get the gossip. Hey, Papa. Yeah? Parents are coming over? Both of them? Okay. But you just passed out that quickly? Damn, girl. No, oh, time to take it to bed, I guess. Guess you're on the couch again. Oh yeah, she just passed out from exhaustion. Holy shit. Nah, she's dumb, bro. Just put her in bed. Sleep on the couch. It, boy, if you don't just go and put her in bed, I swear to God. Good shit, Chief. That was sweet. I love the relationship they got going on. They're so trusting of each other. It's really nice to see. Slept in her clothes and everything. God damn. The normal just to poke someone in the face when they're asleep. Yeah, he, he lost his way. He was like, wow, she looks really soft. Did she grab his hand? Oh, she did as well. Wow. Thank you for doing absolutely nothing. I'm not going to lie, bro. That's a, that was a bit weird of you. Oh, okay. So she knew it was happening. She didn't say anything about it. <laughs> You're teasing her now. Okay. Well, I see where he gets his looks from. His hair's near, near identical, except for the color. What did you bring? You think you're staying over? It's been like a week. No? Okay. Nearly a month. If it went for those little dark triangles around his eyes, bro would be like Amane's age. We know how much of a slob he is. Wow. The dad's so chill compared to the mom. He might have some flaws, yeah. That's true. He's very cool without trying. <laughs> oh, mum. Lovey-dovey ass parents. That must be nice, though. Oh, Sheena in a kimono, yeah. Why don't you think you're coming? Damn, he looks different. Sheesh, cleans up nice. If any kids at school see Sheena now with this, like, preppy-looking rich kid, now there's going to be rumors about her. Regardless of they know if it's uh, Amane or not. Every day that passes... He finds a new thing that he likes about her. It's destiny, bro. Just ask her out already. Cute and beautiful at the same time. Once again, just saying shit without thinking about what he's saying. Yeah, <laughs> she has to whisper it. That's adorable. Oh, yeah. Everybody's looking at her. Wow. She's probably one of few that have actually gone on the first 
try and visit in a kimono. So she's probably getting attention for that and the, the fact that main girl looks different to all the other girls. Oh god, if anybody sees him, this is just going to further the rumours. Ah, This is y'all's year. You better get together this year. Sweet sake and red bean soup. Mm. I've always wanted to try red bean soup. <laughs> Y'all are just closer now. Probably doesn't care. No? Anime kids are too pure, man. Y'all just shared the same cup. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Just get over it. Friends do it. I wonder if her staying over is going to be a more common thing now. She already slept over, what, twice? <laughs> At least warn me first. Yeah. You should only pat the one you love on the head. So as anime goes. I wouldn't do it with anyone else. You want me to keep going. Please stop teasing me. <laughs> Baka. Are they really talking about patting someone on the head like it's kissing them? God damn. Pure ass anime. The, both the parents are definitely in on, on trying to manifest this shit. Like, they are making them get together at this point. Yeah, you're a pretty stand up guy, Amane. Have more faith in yourself. Oh, see? It happened. Yeah. What did I say? <laughs> People were going to see. At least they didn't see who it was. Bro really put on some nice clothes and moves, moved his hair slightly to the right. And nobody recognizes him. I mean, you were holding the dude's hand. It's not an uncommon for them to think that it's a boyfriend. For sure. Bro, you need to have more faith in yourself. You could ask her out right now and she'd probably say yes. You could just slightly slightly snip the hair from above from over his eyes. <laughs> She's proper embarrassed. <laughs> right, so that was the Angel Next Ball Next Door spoils me rotten. Episode five. Forget that title is a tongue twister. Um, yeah, that was a really cute episode. We got to meet both the parents now. And once again, of course, along with the mom, the dad is also here for this ship. Um, of course, it was going to happen that someone was would evidently see them both at the shrine. They're holding hands. Looks like a day. Of course, they look like a couple. Um, yeah, it was really cute, though. And um, at least they didn't see that it was uh, Amane. But um, yeah, overall, a very cute episode. Of course, they're always freaking cute. Um, but yeah, slowly closer and closer to the point where they will realize that they have feelings for each other at some point. Um, it's all just going great. I, I, I'm, I'm interested to see if something will go wrong at some point. I don't know. But it, I was thinking about it and they're like, they're probably going to see each other every single day this year. Unless, for whatever reason, some of them, uh, one, one of them went on holiday or something like that. But I doubt that with Sheena's clear problem with her parents or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they're just going to spend the rest of their life together at this point. Uh, yeah, overall, a very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.